Here at the Narrow Gauge Railway Museum in Tawin, we have a collection of locomotives representing a cross-section of the Narrow Gauge Railways of Britain, which shows the broad spectrum of uses for which such lines were and remain so well suited. The breadth of different work requirements is reflected in the unconventional nature of some of the locos' designs. Incidentally, more detailed up-close and personal tours of the locos can be had as part of our virtual tours programme. For details, see our website www.talithlin.co.uk. Conceived in the early 1950s and having gone through various incarnations over the years, the museum opened in its current form in 2005 as part of the Talithlin Railway's extensive Wharf Station redevelopment programme. Admission to the museum is free, but booking is advised. Here in the vestibule, we have a Fletcher Jennings 040, William Finlay, which worked in the Betchworth Lime Quarries in Surrey until the 1960s. The fact she was built at the same loco works of Fletcher Jennings & Co in Whitehaven as Talithlin Locomotives No. 1, Talithlin, and No. 2, Dolgoch, both happily still in steam and in fine condition, provides a neat link to the present-day Talithlin Railway Preservation Society here at Tawin Wharf, and with whom we share this building. As Wales hopefully returns nearer to a post-Covid normality, we look forward to reopening the footplate access to this particular engine, a feature which, up until the pandemic, had been especially popular with children, who always enjoy the opportunity to get up close and personal with steam engines. Moving now into the museum proper, we have here an unusual Bagley petrol kerosene locomotive dating from 1919, which was designed for use on rough and rudimentary tracks of the timber supply department after the First World War. Before coming to the museum, this particular engine saw use as a demonstration model by Bagley at several major exhibitions and in the forest near Pennell and the Huntleth before moving to quarry use around Blyneau Festiniog. Another unusual machine is this imposing 040, built in 1895 by Spence for the Guinness Brewer in Dublin, featuring cylinders and valve gear mounted atop the boiler with power being transmitted to the wheels by vertical connecting rods. She could also be used for shunting on Irish standard gauge metals by dint of ingenious converter trucks into which the engine could be hoisted. Her unconventional design stemmed from the need to access a tunnel beneath the busy main road which the Guinness Brewery complex straddled. As we continue around the museum, we encounter this De Winton 040 vertical boiler locomotive, George Henry, from 1877. De Wintons were primarily marine engineers and this may account for their use of vertical boiler arrangements with which they would have been more familiar. We now turn to this beautiful Alice-class Quarry Hunslet 040 saddle tank, Rough Pub. Built in 1891 to work on the levels of the extensive Dinorwick quarries at Flamberis, this powerful and elegant little engine came to us in ex-quarry, much careworn condition, bearing various dents, battle scars and somewhat inarticulate repairs. Her largely inaccessible workplace making transport to full workshop facilities only a very last resort. Although an examination of her frames reveals angled ends providing sufficient ground clearance to enable this superb machine to be hauled up and down inclined planes of the quarry if absolutely necessary. Last but not least, as we ascend the stairs, we come to the small but beautifully proportioned Dot, one of a small class of diminutive, but for her size very powerful, Bayer Peacock 040 works engines, built to move materials around the extensive Gorton works of that company. You'll no doubt have noticed that with the exception of the Fletcher Jennings loco as we came in, none of the engines features a cab, nor indeed any weather protection or creature comforts of any sort for the crews, which, when viewed from the point of view of the extreme environments in which these machines worked, windswept, quarries, forests, dock sites and so forth, it's easy to see what a low priority the safety and comfort of the human element was in those days. My colleagues and I, along with the trustees of the museum, hope you've enjoyed this brief foray into the world of narrow gauge locomotives. 
and we look forward to welcoming you to the museum either virtually or as reductions in COVID restrictions allow in person. For further details, booking and information, please go to www.talithlin.co.uk. As the museum is an educational charity, we welcome donations to help us maintain and expand our collection. To donate and for full details of the extensive museum collection, please see the museum's dedicated website at www.narragagerailwaymuseum.org.uk.